In 1988, a young Canadian emerged on the tennis scene and began making a name for herself. But she had to let people know what that name was. Hi, my name's Renee Simpson. Please don't call me Renee. It wasn't long before everyone knew how to say Renee's name as she became a big shot in Canadian tennis, reaching a career high ranking of number 70 in 1989. She was the national singles champion in 1992 and won the doubles title three consecutive years, each time with a different partner. Her double success extended to the 1996 US Open, where she made it to the quarterfinals with her doubles partner, Sonia J. Seelan. The key to Rini's success in both singles and doubles was her competitiveness. She played every point to the end, and her opponents knew they were always in for a battle whenever Rini was on the other side of the net. Oh, I've never been anybody more competitive than Rini. Unbelievable what she would bring to the court in every match. Uh, and it really was an inspiration to all the other Canadian players. She had the ability to just raise the entire competitiveness of whatever team or group she was a part of. Nowhere was her competitiveness more on display than in Fed Cup. Rini has been involved with the Canadian Fed Cup team since 1988, encompassing 25 ties as a player. Her career record was 20 and 16, and as impressive as that is, it is only part of her Fed Cup legacy. She played from 1988 to 98, then became the Fed Cup captain from 2000 to 2010. She was involved in Fed Cup for 23 consecutive years. Of all the players I coached in Fed Cup over 13 years, she was extremely passionate about the game, and in particular whenever she represented Canada. Uh, she really took a lot of pride in playing for her country, and that showed in her game. Her game was raised an entirely different level every time she played Fed Cup for Canada. Well, she's one of the great Fed Cup players that Canada has ever produced, um, and not because of the success she had on the court, but just because of the absolute passion she brought to playing for Canada, to giving her best for Canada and it, it would be, she became simply a role model for all the players, right? Both with the current players on her team and the ones, uh, the young ones coming up. I mean, it was inspiring to watch her perform and how much she cared, how much she enjoyed wearing the maple leaf on her jacket. Her involvement in Fed Cup has been instrumental in influencing young Canadian players to recognize the importance of playing for your country. For us to get former players to go in and be involved as a captain and be with the younger players. Uh, just all that experience that is not lost because she's back in the system is just so valuable. So all her involvement as the Fed Cup captain was, you know, uh, great for all these girls. For her, Fed Cup was so important. It meant a lot. Uh, it's not the same for every player. And I think that she was able to give this passion to the players that Fed Cup was something unique playing for your country it was more important than just playing for yourself and I think she was able to make the players feel this way and I think they, it's, it's probably a tribute to her now that all the girls want to be at Fed Cup and want to play at Fed Cup and for them it's really important. I think she installed those values in them. Rini Simpson's passion for the game was on display every time she took to the court and she continued to express her love of the game by giving back when she retired as a player. As Fed Cup captain, Rini has had an influence on the next generation of Canadian tennis players. And now there is no question how to say the name of the newest member of the Canadian Tennis Hall of Fame, Rini Simpson.